The old stone walls, the uninhabited castles, the craggy ruins bound together by ivy. Such grandeur in the old world, such depth, such history. Alas, I being from the United States, I am told that this is the new world, lacking the complex, ancient, scarred and tortured from year after year of conflict, conquered and reconquered. Many Americans travel far to set their eyes on the storied, rich, cultural landmarks like Turkey, Spain, Serbia, Romania, Scotland, Portugal, Hungary, the Czech Republic, with buildings and layouts that boggle the mind, their construction a complete mystery, the craftsmanship unparalleled, and we are told we have nothing on this scale in the New World. Nothing from these time periods, for everything in America is new, built in a flurry of activity, due to labor from the hardiest men the world has ever seen. A new world, a new way. But then one day, you wake up and discover you're looking at a princess castle in New York City and the year is 1890 and you wonder what's this? Could this be a special custom commission for some well-traveled New York resident with loads of cash? Someone who wanted to bring a bit of their travels home? Paid exorbitant fees to have such a building constructed here in New York in such an early period? Perhaps. But then what's this? Another castle of amazing proportions built when? In the 1800s? With mules, donkeys, with a few hundred men who arrived by stagecoach? How could this be? And you're told, no, this is not a castle. This, this is a temple. Yes, yes. You're in Utah, boy. There are no castles here. But, but, do my eyes betray me? How is this possible? And this, in Detroit, another one, in Detroit, and the year 1890? How can this be? Why on earth... How would Detroit have this in such an early stage? Detroit is a industrial wasteland. And this is a castle. No, 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 you fool. This is simply a bicycle store. Go big or go home. It's how Detroit rolls. Curiouser and curiouser. And the show goes on. Place after place. New Jersey. Boston. Chicago. Buffalo. Richmond. Memphis. And on and on and on and on and on. And then you're faced with reality. Indeed, it would seem impossible to build something like this in 1890, even if the desire was there. How could it be constructed with the tools at their disposal, which at this point is a rather paltry list? Things like the paper towel, toilet paper, and the paper clip, and the clothespin, and the rotary hand drill, and jeans, zipper and bottle caps were being invented for the first time, we're told. We don't have power tools, and we won't for some time. And this can be evidenced by these babies. So, let me understand something. These are the modern means of transportation. These are the roads. And this is the post office. Am I, am I understanding this correctly? Yes, this is what we are expected to believe about America. That this is merely the post office in the year 1900 in Chicago. They apparently take mail very seriously, but really it boggles the mind. How did the material even get here? How was it even constructed and why? But what is the purpose of having such an amazing post office? With an antenna on the top. When you rule out the impossible, what's left, no matter how unlikely or ridiculous we have to go with, it's impossible for us to have built this. Therefore, we didn't. We did not construct this. Not with those tools. Not in that era. Demonstrably impossible. In the year 1900, even to have the budget and the ability and the desire and the necessity to create something so ridiculously huge is impossible. These mansions in New York, same story, impossible. Even here, fast forwarding 70 years, in 1960, this is a ridiculous building. Though others may have come later that seem taller, they are much less remarkable, much less ornate. These are adorned with angels and Torahs, wreaths of eternity. It's unfathomable to think that early Americans needed this just simply for a federal courthouse, as it later became. Library of Congress, the year is 1900. And I'm to believe that we built this to be a library. Well, well, then what happened to us? Either I'm expected to believe that we were capable of this and now we're not. Maybe. But more likely is we didn't build this at all. A post office in New York. Very similar. Why? How? Why didn't we do it again? And so it goes. All across the country, you see this. We're told these aren't castles. These aren't monasteries or temples. These are post offices. These are stock exchanges. These are music academies. These are bus stations. And I don't believe it. The ruins in Europe that look like this will last thousands of years. We tear these down. 
Why? Are we creating something better? Have we have we got a new trick up our sleeve? We're, we're going to outdo these old things? I don't think so. I don't think we can. I think the idea is to eventually hide this history. Hide as much of it as you can. Like, this is destroyed. This is in New Jersey. It was in New Jersey. Destroyed. Ah, uh, yes, a very believable monument for Civil War soldiers in Maryland. With a crappy little font hacked into the base of this. Atlantic City, of course. These somatic sound wave patterns are not suspicious, nor is the front yard full of sculptures. This is just an everyday scene in Atlantic City in 1904. This is not a castle. No, no, you're a fool to believe so. No, this is an armory in Boston. We don't, we don't have castles. We have armories. We, we don't know how to build castles. Oh, well, of course we built a, a, a basement. Surely if you were making an incredibly complex building of stone block and gigantic proportions, well... Surely you would dig a basement and then put windows in it, floor level. Because in case it rains or floods or anything, you know, you want to make sure that you compromise the integrity of the structure as soon as possible. Not just one basement, not just one building. All buildings must be compromised in such a way. We didn't build these, but somebody did. And why don't we know who that somebody is? It wasn't these clowns. Do you see the contrast? Do you see the current capabilities in other technological departments versus the technical skill and ability that you would need to construct this, much less the money, the necessity, must gather the function. Certainly this served a function at some point, didn't it? You would think so, these antennas. This is not an Arc de Triomphe. This, why, this is a, a train station. Everyone knows that. We don't have those here in America. Those wheels brought the material to make this. And if you believe this still, I think you need to reconsider. Now, I understand that that shatters everything. That will cause you to doubt everything. Well, if the shoe fits, I mean, I guess the, tr the choice to know the truth is yours. But personally, I find it odd that we've all been lied to. Who built these? I understand this is a bank now in Buffalo, but I, I can't imagine the possibility that this was constructed in the 1890s by these people. We'll get to you another time. Here's another bank that defies all logic. It looks like the majority of people don't even have cars. I don't even think cars were invented yet. This is like 1890. So we've regressed so hard. Or more likely, people came along later and chiseled their name into this, claimed it for their own. We are told, after all, that all the founding members of the country practiced Freemasonry. Perhaps that's a little bit different meaning than what we've been led to believe. What do you think? Think it's seems reasonable to assume that these people build this? Put the eagle on everything and the phoenix? Mmm, speaking of phoenix, pure and healthy beverage. Yeah, the same people falling for this. You're gonna turn around and blow your mind. Build this, huh? It's not possible. This is a colorized version of that same bank, looking equally as ludicrous. What came first, the rail or the church? Or the castle, I mean. Churches don't need to be like this. You wouldn't build a church after you put this rail here. <laughs> not this close. It's ridiculous. This is old. Very old. As old as the ones in Europe. Makes you wonder if they're being lied to as well. After all, there are paintings in Europe with just like this. Little mules next to ridiculous castles. Oh, I'm sorry. Post offices. Post offices. My bad, Sacramento. Post office. Yeah, no. This. All this. This looks completely sunken in to the ground. In order to be symmetrical, which clearly these people know about symmetry, this needs to go down at least another, I don't know, here? Or the third? If this even makes sense. And then that would explain why these windows are so low, wouldn't it? It would appear that something happened here. Some event which drove people away, wiped them out, I don't know. And then we come along and, I don't say we, I guess Columbus or whoever, who knows what's true anymore. They come along and they move right in and set up shop and they, well, this is the theater. Well, this here's the post office and this here's the government library and this is where I'm going to sleep. And what about you guys? And now let's bring a bunch of immigrants here and tell we built all this. We're, we're pretty incredible. Pump them all up with debt. And with patriotism, perfect slaves. Use them to do our dirty work. Anytime we need it, something done around the world to further our interests, we just pump them full of another story about someone from far away doing something horrible. We gotta go save them. It'll work for a while. One day they might catch on, but by then hopefully we'll destroy all the literature and all the books and all the references and all the... And they'll never know. Whew. And they almost got away with it. This is the Church of Christ Scientist in Boston. Now, forgive me, but that's... Possibly the dumbest name for a religion I've ever heard. Christ scientist? What does that even mean? As if as if Christ and scientists are are, are bed buddies today. <laughs> right? Get, getting right along, huh? The believers of Christ are homies with the believers of scientists. They 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 see eye to eye on everything from what I understand. Now if this were in Turkey or Pakistan, you'd you'd call it a mosque. If it were in France, you'd probably remove this top piece and you'd call it a castle. Or a chateau. But this is America, so it's a church. Could be a capital building, but <laughs> Capitol building was already taken. It's the best building. Starting to see the pattern? This is Indiana. Interesting. City Hall. And I would pay more attention to this, except for there's a Palace of Suites right here. Oh my god. 
Richmond, Virginia. Well, who knew? Them, look at them boys done fucked around and constructed. Which is it? Log cabins and adobe huts and stagecoaches or this? Because they can't exist at the same time. So which is the lie? Well, since these are here, I'm going to assume all the rest was a lie. Maybe that's why they say these cities are founded. Founded by. Or the founders. Or found dead. Most of these buildings, they don't claim they were constructed. They say they're designed. Or designated, perhaps. Or erected. Maybe what they mean is resurrected. You see, the systems around us are... They're designed to mock us. To inform us of what's really going on without us picking up on it. It's maddening to watch in politics. Insulting, really. And this is a whole new level of it. I have studied history with a passion. I wanted to rebel against this and say, this is no way. No way all of that was a waste. It wasn't. It just was fiction, not history. This is in Connecticut, by the way. <laughs> exactly, what I, exactly what I picture when I think of Connecticut. Here's another building in Baltimore, 1905. Looking very modern until you see this. <laughs> and I, I don't even understand what's going on here. I thought that this would be the water, but then what is this down here? Like, what is, This looks like subterranean levels and buildings down here. Is this why there's a city under every city? tunnels under every city and capital and university. Is this why they claim they raised the street levels up in Chicago and Seattle and all these places, raised it up, leaving a, a subterranean floor? Is it already always there? It's underneath. It's what, it's what the basements are. That seems far too clean of a of a flood. Like the first or second floor of like all these old buildings around the same time period. It seems like they're hiding something that's that was down there, covering something up they don't want us to have. I imagine it would benefit our lives if that's what they were trying to cover up. But the real amazing part is the uh, the... The ability, the size of the lie that they could get away with it, that they could that they could pull off such a massive deception. It's really ingenious and it's terrifying. Cause what else? What else is a lie? If everything we know about ourselves is a lie, who are we? What are we really capable of? Why are we here? And this gives a whole new meaning to everything. And I don't think that I can ever, ever go back. You can't unsee it. You guys think this is normal for this building to exist. <laughs> <laughs> and I just don't know what to tell you. I guess keep on. If you don't think that this is some old technology, <laughs> I don't know. This isn't suspicious to anybody, huh? In America, except the first. Now, where these people went, I don't know. But they obviously disappeared sometime in the 1800s. Now, this here, this is Chicago. Anyone seen Chicago lately? Does it look like this? Does it look better than this? I don't think anything looks better than this. This, to me, looks like as most of a paradise kind of place that you could ever imagine. I, normally, I feel like you go outside, you go to the shoreline, you go to see things of beauty like this. I feel like you could come here every day and just feel inspired and alive and great. And this is what a city should look like. Of course, they destroyed all this. They destroyed all this except for this building over here. I think they called it the Art Museum. And they claim that this is all that was made with uh, cheap materials made to be destroyed. You know, really? Really? Made to be destroyed, huh? Well, even if you made this on cake frosting, it'd be an amazing feat. But this is a lie. You didn't make this out of you know, hemp and plaster. The hell out of here. This was the destruction of the old world in our faces. Reintroduction of specific technologies that they wanted to tell us about. A suppression of the ones they couldn't figure out how to make money off of. And everybody's dressed here to go to a funeral. Their own funeral. Funeral of an old world. And whether or not they knew it, I doubt. Doubt they did. When hamburgers are five cents and you can buy a house for $5,000 and the Chicago looks like this. <laughs> why? Why would you be suspicious about anything? I mean, actually, that's a good reason to be suspicious about everything, but clearly it wasn't really uh, the way people thought, you know. But something ain't right. We know that now. And really, look at this. This is the stuff they sold. Cigars, credit. Like Pleasure Islands, like Pinocchio. Just, hey, come on in, boys. Take whatever you can. Fucking chill to every buffalo. You got some people on your land that live there already? Eh, whatever. Drop a deed. Chase them out. Get some rifles. Get a lot of guys. Get them out of here. Those people living in the hills, been there for thousands of years? Fuck them. Manifest destiny. Give me $5 and you can have a piece of paper that says that land's yours. Go deal with it. What a racket. What a joke that they were roped into. And really, this is the end. This is how it works out. All those fires in the 1800s. This looks suspiciously like those Civil War photos have, like, stuff piled up. Like, see? See what told you we're building this? You trying to act like this is you constructing this? Get the fuck out of here. Who builds like that? Crumb by crumb, scattering shit everywhere. No, this, is, this has been destroyed. They definitely didn't rebuild it. Not like that. This is Hotel Brunswick in Boston. Built by these little pilgrims down here. Come on, Mary, grab a shovel. We're going to build a hotel. We're going to make it lovely. We're going to make it so lovely. In 120 years, they'll look at it and be like, how'd they do that? And they'll scratch their butts and they'll say, we can't even do that now. And lo and behold, here we are. As if these doorways aren't supposed to be taller. This is the hotel in Boston as well. Not a castle, you idiots. There are no castles here in America. 
This is a hotel. <laughs> Stupid. And what do we have here? Another 1905 hotel. Nobody here. Very, very believable that they would know how and they would need to make something like this. You know, like this. Now, what exactly is the point of this? What's missing? Surely you don't just build this little, like, housing on hundreds and hundreds of buildings that it serves no purpose. What's the point of the domes? The antennas? Wait a second. Earlier, we saw this in the Czech Republic. We were told this was a European ruin. How does one exist in Boston? That's impossible. Yeah, this, this, this architecture was just so that you could put a massive fucking cigar sign on the side of it. This is in Jacksonville, 1904. Hmm, wonder what those could be. Certainly could be some sort of antenna. Transmitter, could they? I mean, look at the telephone pole, okay, that we're putting up. Look at the, the difference between this rustic fucking it still has knobs on it from the branches it's not even this is the telephone pole but you're gonna say that you built this behind it the same people built that as built this rotten ass telephone pole that's literally just wood barely and what a joke look at this amazing building looks like a just but we're to believe that this belongs to keith keith's with this shitty ass sign and if this isn't a battery, <laughs> like a lantern, I, I don't know what is. This is Lexington, Kentucky. It's clear the way they brought us here. What they're really trying to sell us on is this. Pump them full of this, and then they'll be too stupid to realize. This is Ellis Island off the shoreline of New York. It's gone now. I'm not sure why. It's, it's pretty incredible. This is New Jersey, and this is gone. I don't know what's missing from these. I don't know what it was originally. Even though it's very ornate, it looks sort of somewhat gutted, and it's gone. Now why? Who would tear that down? In Europe, they last thousands of years, but we can't make them last a few hundred? What kind of world was this? You can bury your head in the sand on this if you want, but someday, you're gonna have to face it. You've been lied to. The proof is everywhere. Everywhere you go. Any building built early 1900s or earlier, you're gonna see it. The choice to know is yours, but this world is not what they tell us. Now here's this one. Well, where is it? Well, now you don't know, do you? Before you might have been like, that's clearly Europe. And yeah, it is. This is in the UK. I don't see much of a difference. How about this one? Well, this is Millard Fillmore's house. It's not a castle. Uh uh, oh shit. Take take that sign down. How about this one? This is what we're calling a train station. I'm guessing that all this dirt was pushed out of the way for this. Hmm. Here's a proper castle with a moat. Look at that. A moat and a drawbridge and a castle. Now this is a castle. This is what I'm talking about. This is that old world stuff. This is that old world stuff. This is what I'm talking about. This is in Minneapolis. That's right. Minneapolis. The city hall. A castle with a moat. Or a a, a, a city hall building with a basement. You run with whatever story fits your version of history, I guess. But then there's this. You know, the actual photographs of cities underneath cities. Underneath Indianapolis here, you have, hmm, Native American ruins? No, no, no. That's a mystery. You see, anytime we run into something that goes along with the narrative, it's history. Anytime we run into something that defies the narrative, it's a, it's a mystery. And there it shall remain. A mystery. I would argue that it's no longer a mystery. If you discover it, I think it means that the history is wrong and the mystery is more accurate since it's at least adaptable but no they're never going to teach anyone about this never why would they mit building montana 1891 nashville who would have thought it looked like gondor this here's new orleans yep horse and buggy and this totally checks out you know i would like to believe that the pioneers had magic powers that they were content with little boxes on little wheels like this but they were secretly their their superpower was in architecture and they construct the most magnificent amazing buildings in the whole world they lasted forever and they're highly complex and highly ornate and we couldn't even copy them today if we tried that was their superpower and i'm talking about i'm talking about early new york this photograph's from 1890 and if you think that that could possibly be true. I'm afraid it's you that believe in crazy things. I'm of a much more sound mind, and I'm going to go ahead and say that that's impossible. There are no castles in America. This, this is a tabernacle. How dare you confuse that with a castle? You no know, temple? That's a theater, clearly. What? That ain't no... Do you see the sheer ridiculous idea that this building can be made by the people who are riding in horse and buggy. Ludicrous. This is North Carolina. Just what I expected to see. This is Norway. Norway, huh? I would have thought by now that you were going to show me some place in Minnesota. But there's no difference, is there? Only the stories were told. Maybe theirs is fake too. This ain't no damn castle. Why, this here's a New York armory. We always build them like that. <laughs> is that so? Well, since you say, though, it must be. Since you, you know, the powers that be are so fond of telling us the truth. I mean, why would I, why would I doubt anything that the, that, you know, the government said? Did you drop off the latest bricks? I sure did. Cool. We're just going to build a little thing here. Thanks for your help. 
just a little thing here. Just a little, a little more, a little more, a little bit more. I'll put another thing on it on the top. Dome, please. Yes, another dome. Okay, sweet. All right, now pull. Yeah, I think we'll be done. If you believe this story, if you think that we built these, man, you'll believe anything. This is in Ohio. This is an old asylum. We locked people in who were political dissidents. Basically, this is your home, Trump supporters. And the early Americans were fond of worshipping pagan gods, whom they spent much time constructing and erecting on the top of their very ornate and complex buildings, of which they are proud of and took great joy. This is them. This is their legacy. Behold the beauty, far beyond anything Rome ever could produce. And we're told, it's an insurance building. The old state house, complete with the old statues of unicorns. You know, as befitting a normal, respectable establishment. Or how about this one? Of course there's amazing statues of topless women. This is New Orleans, after all. I mean, are they making things like this today? No. We get boxes. Shit drywall boxes. And no one thinks this is interesting, huh? No one thinks that this is suspicious. Everyone still thinks that we are progressing, huh? Even after this stares them in the face. This is the Pabst Building in Milwaukee. Pabst Building in Milwaukee. Do you get it yet? This is Penn Station, New York, which they tore down for being too dirty. Tore this down. Have you seen New York? Do you think they're really concerned about buildings being dirty? Or do they realize how ridiculous this is? This the existence of this it defies everything that they've ever told us about who we are. And they can't have that. The Academy of Fine Arts. Not fine font. No, no. Chisel font. Crappy. Unlike the rest of this amazing building. We outsource the sign maker. Philadelphia is a shithole today. M my how far they've fallen. If this was once something they... Just threw up in a few years. Not possible. This is the legacy. This is what they brought. This is what they promised. This is what they gave us. They are selling us death, distraction, while they destroy who we were and what we are capable of. The phoenix or the eagle? Which is it? This is not just happy in America. It's worldwide. This is just the country I know best. This is just the history I was told. And it doesn't jive can't see it even though you're in it every day until someone just snaps you from the sp so you don't have to go to europe to see ruins to see ridiculous architecture made by people that are long gone we need to figure out who we are and claim this land i mean all over the world claim our rightful place and take it back because if we can create this without power tools maybe we're looking at power wrong if we can make things like this with a different kind of energy one that's perhaps wireless as evidenced by this photograph here in 1890 san francisco then I think all we have to do is figure out who exactly benefits from us not knowing that. And there's a lot more of us than them. It's just unbelievable. South Station in Boston again with this phoenix here. <laughs> it's unbelievable, y'all. Sky trains in 1905. Man. Castle in the middle of your city. I'm looking at you, Buffalo. I'm looking at you, Atlantic City. I'm looking at you, Symphony Hall, Boston. Syracuse, huh? Syracuse, 1904. Give me a break. Temple of Commerce, Boston, 1906. Mm-hmm. This is Galveston, Texas. In 1890, Galveston, Texas. Now this is gone. Completely gone. Just a sandy beach. Why? Why? Because this doesn't look like something cowboys build. This looks like something out of the distant past. Which raises so many questions. Is the past even that distant? And are those people any different from us across the sea? In any direction? They can lie about every structure in America and the entire history of a, the second largest nation in the world. They can convince fucking 350 million people of a lie. Unbelievable, man. I've looked at these pictures for years now, and I just I can't get over it. Detroit. Detroit, 1909. Look at Detroit, Detroit today and tell me you think we're making progress. Yeah, right. What's actually happening is they're destroying them, building new ones. Fine, build a new one. Build a new one that looks like this. They can't do it. They can build these shit signs. They can put flags on antennas and pretend that's what they're for. They can pretend this is a basement and it was intentional. They can pretend all they want. By Earth, I'll be back.